Good day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week we are going to wrap a couple of photographs around buildings just like I have here on the screen. We started off with no photographs on the buildings and we're going to wrap two photographs around each of these buildings. I've got the building photograph here and photograph of two models. Um, I will link those photographs below. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is delete what we've already got here so we can start off with a blank canvas and as usual we're going to go command j to duplicate that background we'll come over to our first model and we will go command c back to our building and command v now it's come a little bit big so we're just going to resize this picture to fit into where we want to position it in the building to about what size we want i'm also going to come over here to opacity and I'm going to drop the opacity so we can see the building behind. I'm using 38% on the opacity. And I'm just going to line up this photograph on the building using the sides of the building to line it up. That looks pretty good at the moment. So making sure that we are on the background of the model here, we're going to come over here to the rectangular marquee tool. And again, I'm using the sides of the buildings to line that up. And I'm just going to drag down and I'm going to stop right on the corner here on the left side of the building. So we're going to stop there, making sure that we're still on the background of the model. I'm going to hit Command J to make a copy. And it's just making a copy of that left side. So I'm going to call that left side. Back on the marquee tool again, we're going to do the right side. So we're going to start right on the edge of the building. And again, we're going to drag down and out towards the end of the building. Just like that, let it go. Command J again, making sure that we're on the background. And we'll have another copy. And we've just copied the right side of the building. So we're going to call that right side. Now, we can go Command D to get rid of those marching ants. We don't actually need the background anymore, so we can actually just delete that. It leaves us with the left and right side. So clicking on the left side, we're going to come over here to our perspective tool, clicking on that, and it puts a grid around those photos. We'll just zoom in a little bit. So what we're going to do with this one is just move those edges to the end of the building, just like we want right using the lines down the side. So we've got that one pretty much lined up. Okay, we're going to hit apply, click on the right side of the building and click our perspective tool again, getting us that grid. And again, we're just going to move that into position, making sure that we're aligned on that building and then hit apply. So we've got our model on the side of the building looking like she's wrapped around. So we're just going to click on the left side and the right side and we're going to group those layers together and we're just going to add a mask. And we've got our mask, we're going to click on our mask, come over here to our paintbrush tool and we're going to make sure we're painting in black. We're going to just zoom in a bit and we can then clean that up a little bit, make sure we're painting in black and we can do both sides because we've grouped them and we've got the mask on on the group so we don't have to go back and forth to each layer because we've got our group set up and we can just go and clean that up I won't do too much but I just want to give you the idea of how you get that picture wrapped around the building so once we've done that we'll zoom out a little bit and we'll put our other model on this building here so again on the background come to our other model command C back to our picture of our buildings command V and again we're just going to have to resize that We'll just come right out here and resize this picture all the way down to the size that we want. And we'll zoom back in. I'm using my command and plus key to zoom in and out. And again, we'll just line this model up with the building here. We want it to be a little bit bigger. We'll drop our opacity again. About 38% works for me. Over to our marquee tool, make sure you're on the background of the model. And again, we're going to use our marquee tool right on the edge of that building, all the way down to right to the edge of the building before it starts to turn around. Okay, again, we're going to go Command J and we're going to call that the left side. And I might just put an M for male, left side male. Back onto here again, back onto our marquee tool for the other side, right on the corner of that building, drag down and to the other edge of the building there. And we are gonna go Command J again, and we will call that right side 
male. Again, we no longer need that background, so we're gonna get rid of it, we're gonna delete it. Get rid of the marching ants, Command D. Up to left side, over to our marquee tool, and we're just gonna position that marquee onto the edge of the building. And that side as well, just down, so it's a bit squarer. There we go, and hit apply. The other one, the right side, again, click on the right side, and then let's just position that one so it's a little bit squarer. Bring that side in so it's like onto the building, that side in a bit. As I said, you can pay a lot more attention and get the detail a lot better and apply. Again, we're going to group both of those with clicking on each one and Command G for a group. And again, I'm gonna add a mask. Clicking on that mask, make sure we're in black again with our paintbrush tool. And we're gonna zoom in and we can then clean up that photo again, but anything that you don't want, go around the edges, just to make it look a little bit better and that it's all the way wrapped around that building and then just up the top here. We'll just take it from the top of those balconies there. There we go. Let's zoom out and there we go guys, we've wrapped both of those photos around each of the buildings. Now you can actually play around with adjustment layers if you want to, some exposure layers, some adding some brightness or contrast. I just wanted to give you the basic idea of how to wrap the photographs around a building using the perspective tool. And as usual guys, if you have enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.